helping children in crisis through play and art. Three years old Sean was brought to hospital along with his unconscious father who was involved in a car accident. You don't know how long it's gonna take to find the information about their emergency contact person. In the meantime, what's the best place for Sean? Five years old Jan is confused about her mother's upcoming surgery. She heard her talking on the phone the other day, trying to find someone who can take care of her daughter while she's in hospital. How can the mother find a qualified and trusted person who can look after her? Crisis nurseries are an answer to these questions. They are temporary housing options for families who do not have a safe place to leave their children in emergency situations. When children are brought to the crisis nurseries, the professionals try to do their best to help them who experience different kinds of traumatic events. Depending on the circumstances, children may stay there from 24 hours to several days. This video is specially made for the professionals who try to help these children and their families through play and art. Play and art are proven to be useful in assessing the children's situation and helping them to get through difficult times. The suggestions in this video may guide you how to use play and art during their stay and also give parents tips on how to communicate better after the traumatic event. Play and art are the easiest yet effective way children use to communicate. While they are playing, they start creating stories, talking about anything they have in their mind, and more important, they relax during play. Play is their safe environment and when they feel safe, they start talking about their thoughts and emotions. Let's see what you can do. Sit down and play with children so you can ask questions and know them better. It'll help them open up their true feelings without even realizing. Build a positive relationship. Getting on their eye level will also help you build a positive relationship. Use pretend play. It helps children feel in charge and powerful. It will encourage them to talk about what happened and it'll be a chance to listen to the story from their side. Choose the toys carefully. Professionals should make sure they set up the play area with the right toys. For example, therapists often use dolls in their play therapies. A doll family helps the children to define the relationship in, in their families. When chosen carefully, animals and puppets such as lions, alligators, rabbits or birds help the children express different emotions. Heroic characters such as firefighters, superheroes, doctors, along with fictional characters will be very helpful as well. Through these toys, the children project their feelings onto the play figure and unconsciously describe their feelings. Just like play, art is another way to help children relax and reflect their feelings. Children love drawing from the very early age since they are not good at talking about their emotions, art is a perfect way for them to express their feelings. For that, you can ask children to draw a picture of themselves, their families, what happened, or you can just ask them to draw whatever they want. Asking children to draw a picture of themselves and their families enable us to learn about the children's perception of themselves and families. Draw a gingerbread man figure and list some feelings with matched colors. Then ask the children color their emotions on the figure. You can also ask them to draw the picture of the pain. This may be very useful for you to see how they put it in drawing. Remember, it's not always easy to interpret their drawing and paintings, but it is important to keep the child's artwork for future analysis by a therapist. 
The primary goal in this activity is letting children to express their feelings while they are fresh. This might also calm them during the time of stress. Whether you are using play or art to understand children, be careful with the words you choose. Don't make any judgment. Let the child express the feelings freely. Instead of asking, what did you draw? Or, who is this? Say, tell me about your picture. And then ask questions such as, tell me about the lion, child, house, or whatever they said it is on the picture.